Do you want to show that Daredevil logo during the, the podcast? Yeah, we'll do like a little whip. Like, might as yeah. well. So, we'll, so like, I have a list of questions. They're not like anything too intense. It's just like about your uh, your credit history and stuff like uh, that. My social security number. That yeah. Kind of, yeah, where I live. Wait, do you have social security numbers over there? Yeah, everyone has one. We have That's a... Wait, what's it? I, I have a national insurance number. National it's insurance number. Don't read it. You you sound like you're about to read it to me. Yeah, I'll just get it real quick. Give me a second. No. <laughs> all right, all right. The music's rolling in. I can hear it. I can hear the music rolling in in post. I can hear it. All right, we're gonna do the. We're gonna come in. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Hello. This is so weird because. I haven't done one of these in a while, but we're gonna. Uh, the last one was with Kem. I really like to have a Kem on, but we're gonna we're gonna get into right now. Right now, with me today, I have one of the. I think one of the 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 cornerstones of the Spider-Man cosplay community. I would say that you kind of have. If I were to describe your your cornerstone, it's 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 dark, it's drab, and I would say it's quite literally in the dark corner. I would yeah. say. We yeah, have not another one. I I'd probably call myself like the depressing corner of Spider-Man cosplay if I'm being honest. No, Without I I wouldn't say it's depressing. I'd just necessarily say it's 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 drab. It's unique. It's like those like it reminds me of those. If I had to give it a vibe, I would give it the vibe of like those those '60s black and white horror movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? That's not a bad. That's not a bad like way of describing it. If I'm being honest. Uh, I've I've had worse. Today I have with me Spider Boy, the 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 starter of the sweater suit trend. Uh, you've made a lot of great suits. I've made a couple of great suits. I wouldn't say they're all incredible because I have scrapped a number of them. Um, but the ones that I haven't got rid of, I'm pretty proud of. Yeah, certainly. I gotta say, I I think Kian. I'm surprised I've gone this long without getting Kian on the cast with me. I'd say that you were... We, we, we wanted to have you on for maybe like a month, right? But then I, we were like... Shit, we had shitty schedules. And not only that, you're in the UK. And I... We have a different time zone. It was only like yesterday where I was like, Hey, you're five hours ahead of me. So now I'm actually going to work to set up a time. Yeah, and I had nothing. I had. Oh, I hadn't got work today. I was chilling out. It was match made in heaven. If I'm being perfectly honest, it's great. Thanks. Man, we really are staying away from the nitty gritty, and we are like losing audience retention. Oh, hundred percent. This is just like a like a coffee conversation between good chums. This is. <laughs> it is. It is. I think you know what, and I'm going to say this right now. Not a lot of people watch these podcasts, and I just want to say that all of you watching right now are certified real ones. Absolute real ones, absolute G's. Give you kisses That's on right. foreheads. That's right. All right, so we're gonna get in, we're gonna get into the question. The first question, because you were you were the first person to ever make like a Spider Man sweater suit, right? Like out of like like slacks and like sweaters and jeans and and, and um, sweatpants, right? Maybe I don't want to be like I don't want to sound like I was the first person to do that because I'm I, I'm sure someone's done it before me. Because there's like like you got the human spider suit, which is pretty much the same thing, which I've nah. seen cosplays that way before. Like I did it, I think. Nah, I no you you literally made a Spider Man suit. Like you didn't pretend it was like a homemade suit. You didn't pretend it was like some beta suit or whatever. You like sold it as a genuine, real Spider Man suit. I suppose so. Yeah, I don't. I think the main inspiration for that suit just came out of the idea of not having too much money and right. then in england there's like there, there's a there's a rapid influx so there's a rapid influx of like thrift shops where i'm from i see and they're g- decently priced so getting stuff from them just it made sense to buy my um fabric from them instead of like going to a fabric shop and buying it there right i have to say that your I, I, me and Kian, we we have sort of an antagonistic relationship off camera, 
we're always like yelling and screaming at each other and like, oh, you're a cunt. Oh, no, you're a cunt. Whatever. Going, We got this back and forth. But I, even still back in the day, before we were like yelling and screaming at each other for memes, there was always a secret, not really secret, I, I wouldn't even say, but there was always this admiration for your work that I've always had. Especially your, your, I don't, that's the thing, Kian. You don't name your suits, I don't think. I do name my suits. You also, do? You well, you don't know. publicly name them. Like, I don't know the name of your, uh, I don't na- I don't know the name of that really dark suit you have. Uh, it's called the dropout suit. And that's the, that's like the, the, the velvet purple one. Yeah, that's like the purple and like really dark blue one. With like yeah, the, the one, the, the one you ran around, the one where you ran around in those and like went outside and actually did like a genuine photo shoot with a video. Yes. That, yeah. okay. The dropout suit. See, that wasn't publicly known knowledge. I've been looking through your posts all day and I was like, what is it called? But I love it. I love it. This is like, I think me, this is peak Kean for me. Don't worry. New, new Kean's going to be better, if I'm being honest. Like, the suit that I've got planned at the moment is, it's going to be incredible. Like, if I, if, I, if I can pull it off the way I want to, we got, we got something sweet in store. I'm I'm excited because because this this suit there's something about this suit that really grabs me. I'm not going to lie. Like I think this suit perfectly nails the the sort of how to properly do the grungy Spider-Man aesthetic that I've been screaming about at, like for years on my time in YouTube. This suit nails it for me. Mm, funny you should say that though because the amount of hate this suit got when I first made it was absolutely insane. No, it's unwarranted. It's unprecedented. It's unwarranted. It you no, this suit is this suit is fucking this is this is I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the best Spider Man suits I think the community has to offer. I'm looking at pictures of it right now and it's amazing. It's I, I love the suit personally. It's probably my most comfortable suit that I own in terms of like homemade looking ones. Mm-hmm. But I can understand why someone wouldn't like it because as, especially with like the current media that we're in, if you're not part of the community like cosplay wise, most of the suits are going to be very clean, very linear. Messy webs is kind of unheard of in like MCU media and stuff. Yeah, so, it's it's very it's very it's very macabre. I think. Yeah, borderline gothic in a way. But no, I liked I like your approach. That's the thing. Like you you have such a unique take on Dark Spider Man. Like I've seen I've seen other people do Dark Spider Man and I'm like, yeah, that's yeah, that's Dark Spider Man, but like no, your your approach to the Spider Man suit is one like genuinely rooted in like this sort of gothic fashion and it's like really dark Mm. i think it nails it i really think it nails it like this this is how you properly do a darker spider-man design thank you guy i I do really appreciate that it's just it was the way i made it was a way that i'd seen a couple people making it so i think it was like at the same time me and easy bug boy were both doing the same kind of thing Mm-hmm. And there are things that he was doing that I really liked, and like we we would like kind of go around and share, like give each other little tips and stuff. And I think it reached December. It was just before No Way Home came out. I think it was like a month before. And I was like, you know what? I really want to make this like a new suit. It'd been a while since I've made a homemade suit, and my last one was really uncomfortable. It didn't fit in parts that I wanted it to. And I just got, you know what? Fuck this. I might as well just make a brand new suit. And then the dropout suit kind of came along. And I think I only... I made it in the span of maybe two weeks, if that. I got the bodysuit done in, like, three days. Wait, 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 bodysuit? I got the whole, like, like the shirt, the legs, the oh, gloves, the mask. All of that was done in maybe two, three days, max. Yeah, I definitely... Ah, oh, man. I'm looking at the comments right now on your on your... On your uh, on the video, and I noticed that some person said, "Like it looks familiar." Tasm one. First of all, I don't. For I don't get why. I mean, I kind of get why, but why would you think of like the Tasm one suit? But two, I now that I think about it, I do think that if you put this suit over Andrew Garfield's costume in Tasm one, I think it would work quite well. 
Yeah, out of all of the suits, I do think the, the parallel between Taz and one is probably the closest we'd get. I think it'd be like a stretch to maybe go 2002 Raimi in a weird way. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's a bit of a stretch. Like, that is a bit of a stretch, even for me. Yeah. I do love it, though. I think... I think uh, the... I think this suit definitely got way more hate than it deserved. I don't think it deserved any hate at all, but you actually, you popped off. You like this suit got a lot of fucking clicks and traction. Oh, I, this suit is completely to like, um, to thought of why I have a, a more of a following now. hundred percent. I think I was getting like a thousand a week at one point. It was, yeah, it I'm... was, it was insane it was actually it was frightening for a little bit because i'd be going to work i'd work for like 10 hours like go on my break and i'd see like over 300 people following me in the span of like an hour it was fucking terrifying i think you might have more followers than me i'm looking at all your posts of this suit and they're littered with like that yeah you have more followers than me yeah you chump like damn <laughs> this suit is littered with with like comments like all the posts of this suit have tons of comments it is kind of disappointing yeah. to see that a lot of people who respond to this suit didn't have like the mental capacity to not compare the eyes to the eyes of asian people yeah there's a lot of racism on this suit and it's always kind of baffled me as to why like i don't know it got, it got to a point like when i started getting all this i just kind of fed into them and i just really just started to bully all the people making fun of it because i feel like with this suit there is like a there's a there's an aura of like an attitude with it where yeah. you do kind of need that you can't be you can't be really nice to people that are being like that so it, i i just wasn't <laughs> yeah <laughs> in, in I, I also it, it's also baffling to me that that there were people who decided to start doing racism in the comments of a Spider-Man suit of all places. Like they really yeah. could not control out, themselves. Out of a character that you can't see the skin of always baffled me. Yeah. And, and there were a lot of people comparing it to Japanese Spider-Man. Yeah. But I'm sadly, I'm always going to get that because all of my suits have narrow, like narrow eyes, all of them. So yeah. I, I, that that's always going to be unavoidable. Even if I do a suit that doesn't look remotely similar, like the new suit that I'm doing, if anything looks closer to a superior Spider-Man, but I'm always going to get compared to Japanese Spider-Man without fail. Sad. Yeah. I, if there's one thing I, I hate about the, the Spider-Man community is that like the newer people are so terrible at recognizing Spider-Man costumes. Uh, they will just straight up get the costumes that you're wearing wrong, and it pisses me off. Like, I can't wear my black suit without people being like, You're wearing the Spectacular Spider-Man! <laughs> I'm like, be real, I thought it was Spectacular Spider-Man the first time I saw God it. damn it, Kian! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you! You know what? Fuck you. you! You deserve to get fucking called the the japanese spider-man 2.0 your your dropout <laughs> suit Whatever, i will man. say though i will say i do love your um your recent suits of late like i don't know i i like when i was beginning to get popular is when i first met you mm -hmm. um and your shit just blew me away it was like the quality of it was just absolutely insane i think you're probably the like the main reason i started getting hip, like more into ditko spider-man designs just because you did that one ditko suit is like a commission and it was incredible when I first Wait. saw it. I love that shit so much. Oh no 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 no! That was um, that plebs. was suit. Yeah, that was plebs. That was spider plebs design. Yeah, but it it was something about it was just so nostalgic and Ditko because at the time of making um the dropout suit, I was so heavily against like any kind of classic look to a suit. So much, like I don't. I don't really like any of the PS like the PS4 classic suit. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Like clean webs are a bit of an eh to me. But something about Ditko just draws a fine line between being classic and having that kind of angst and grunge that I like from suits. Like there's something about them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I love Spider I loved Spider Pleb's design too. I like I think that was the first time I ever made an entire like full body costume like out of, like a seven piece suit and unfortunately yeah. it didn't fit pleb so it, it sent he sent it back to me and i gave him a full refund of course 
but I'm, I'm at the end of the day, you know, honestly, I'm kind of glad I got to, to keep it. But sometimes, sometimes I think about commissions I made for people and I'm like, fuck, I really wish I kept that to myself. Yeah, they're t- like, I've not really done any commissions for anyone, but like, I make patterns sometimes. You do um, make patterns. I do make patterns. Most of, so I've got a couple of suits, so you might, I think you'd be able to see it. So you'd be able to see like my Bamijo suit. That's a pattern that I made, and I've also got a Ditko suit on there that I made as well. You're, I believe you're one of the, you're one of the, I, th- I think you're one of the first pattern makers that are, like, actually, like, I, I know, I know Kem had a pattern made. I don't know if he made it, but I know he doesn't, ma- my, uh, he doesn't majorly make patterns, so I would consider you more of a pattern maker, I think. Yeah, I certainly do, like... I think my thing is is that I don't like spending a lot of money on my projects because there, there's there are better things to spend them on. So if I'm gonna if I'm gonna try and like get a pattern, I'll try and just learn how to do it myself. And I've had like luckily I'm friends with such like incredible people that can teach me and help me with stuff. Mm-hmm. Like Pleb taught me a lot how to make designs. Like Alt Spidey, the man that makes the um the um, the ultimate uh, the the universal the ulti- pattern. Yeah, the universal pan. He taught me like so much about making stuff, and I'm so grateful for that because it's such a unique skill to learn that like not many Spider-Man like people really like cosplayers know about that, like how to make their own patterns. So then they have to spend like what the fifty like forty fifty dollars on a fucking pattern. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you can make your own shit. It's like that's why I credit you so much because you make all of your own stuff. Like all of your own patterns are made like. You make all the you digitally like make all the emblems and then like fine tune them like everything you make even for your friend is it is like um like you make for Trey as well like all that shit it's just so cool that it's all like one of one and stuff I love that like the whole idea of that yeah I think the number one thing I don't want to be as a Spider Man cosplayer is someone that blends in I don't want to yeah. be able to be, I don't want to be lost in a crowd like if you saw a crowd of Spider Men. You'd probably be able to point me out since I'm not wearing a printed Zentai suit. And I think that's the number one thing I always want to be. Or like an Amazon suit. Like, yeah. I, I, yeah, that, that's my main thing. It's like when I go to a Comic-Con, I want people to like, if I walk past them and they kind of follow me, I want people to be like, oh my god, it's you. Like, I'm, that's actually, why I love- I'm looking at a picture of you right now on the fucking subway. In your Spider-Man yeah, yeah. outfit. Nah, nah, that's Britain. That's the tube, my man. Like, the tube. <laughs> the tube. Hell yeah, bro. I'm going to hop on the tube. The tube's great. It's got the worst noise in existence, though. Like, it sounds like... it. it, it well, you go through the tunnel, and it sounds like it's screaming at you. It's horrible. I've been... I've been on the... the I've been on the subways in New York, but I don't imagine it's that bad. Like, it's, I don't imagine it's, it's as bad as the... As the, uh, I guess it's the tube. The tube. Oh, it's Lord. it's uh, it's not bad. It's just the way I describe like um, English, like train transport wise. It's just always packed, especially in London. Like uh-huh. it's packed no, pretty much no matter what time you try to get on it. Um, like I just I went into London last week to watch a play, um, and I come I, I get on get on the tube at like ten o'clock at night, tube. and it is absolutely packed like it was me and my four friends and we like nearly lost each other because it was that packed like two of us needed to get on the carriage one side the other tried to get on the carriage another side it was absolutely like it was just completely jammed it was insane uh what are i I, do you want to talk a little more about that design or the suit you're or the whatever the project you're making that you claim will be better than your dropout suit I'd absolutely love to. So this suit is called the Exordium suit. Um, The reason I'm making it, so I'm making a comic, essentially. um, And the suit that I'm making is the one that is in the comic. I'll try and find a quick little photo of it. I haven't Mm -hmm. actually got many photos of it. Um, This suit has been in production for around two years. (laughs) Yeah, I went to your Instagram reel, and I'm... And I, I'm if looking you, through the, I'm looking the through it right now, and I, I saw the the amount of weeks. It was a 92 weeks, and I was like, "Is this right?" Yeah, this suit has taken a it has taken a minute to make. Um, I don't know how to describe the suit. So, it's meant it is meant to be 
as homemade as you can conceivably get for a spike for a Spider-Man suit. It's meant to be like a child, like an eighteen-year-old child has made this with minimal to no budget. Um, but I also want, strangely, I want to get the same kind of feeling as two thousand two's Raimi, uh-huh. just because like that's when the comic is like taking place. Like I want the emblems to kind of have that vibe to it. It has a bit of the vibe of um, the Alex Ross design, you know, that black and like the black and red design that he made. It has a bit of a vibe to that in a weird kind of way. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I just, I, I love this suit, like, but it has been through, it has been through so many redesigns. I think it's got over 20 redesigns or like, or something in that capacity. It's just, I feel bad for it because I, I really want to make it and I'm sure that like I I, I made a like a pr- prototype version of it a while ago and I hated how it looked so I sold it. Uh, I think that's the only one of the only soups that I've ever sold was that soup. Um, let's have a little look. So it started off as an actual like as an actual printed soup. Um, but then I realized I wasn't a big fan of how it looked so I wanted to kind of lean into making a seven piece actual look to a suit um and that's what i'm working on at the moment i've got the suit going uh, like the the black parts of it going for that i'm just waiting for my friend sensational spidey to um he's finished the shell for that so that's all getting printed out the emblems have been cast so for this suit i'm using like uh urethane cast um emblems and they are massive they're absolutely huge i'll send a photo to you here because it's the only photo i've got of like what can what it would look like at the moment? Uh-huh. It's like a little headshot of it. Ah, I see. I mm-hmm. you I've noticed like you you like to collaborate. You collaborate I do love to collaborate. Speci- I feel like specifically with uh, with with Zach or uh, Sensational Spidey, right? Yes, because me and Zach have so when I started getting into cosplay, like the first couple weeks of getting into cosplay, Zach messaged me. And at that time, we were both at the same level. Like, he'd made a couple suits, but we were still really new to it all. Like, and there wasn't... At that time, there wasn't really a lot of people that were kind of sharing information. So, at the same... Like, as I learned stuff, and he learned stuff, we kept just sharing each other to that. So, over the past couple of years, like, Zach has been, like, one of my closest friends doing cosplay. And I, I really can I really don't think I could be where I am without his kind of help. And... Yeah, no, it's just like, I don't really know how to describe it. Like, it's just, like, collaboration with him, it just works so well because we both know how each other work. And, like, I'll help him with some stuff that he's working on. Like, when he was making a seven piece, I was kind of, he was giving me tips on how to make one. And I was giving him, like, a little advice on how to make something, like, a bit more homemade. So, I I personally think when people say, like, oh, yeah, you kind of, like, started the resurgence of making seven pieces. I personally credit me and Zach for it. Mm-hmm. because Zach kind of brings that professionality to it. Like, everything that he has has polish. Like, I don't, know, I don't know if you've ever had, if you've got one of his shells at all. I do not. I don't wear shells at all. I know you don't. I know you don't. But I would so recommend it. Like, it's something, like, the quality of them is just, it's impeccable. Like, I think I've got, how many shells have I got of his now? I've got one, two, three. All of my shells are Zach, so I've got around five of them. I... I I do I if I were to buy a shell I, I think I would definitely consider it being Zach of all people because his work is phenomenal. Mm. It is just there's just that degree of like customer like customer care that he has with it is just truly mind boggling. I, I I don't really see it a lot anymore. I, like, I accidentally just saw a picture of, of his feet. <laughs> Where did you get that from? I'm 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 time stamping this right now so I can put it in the video. Zach feet. <laughs> Zach feet. Zach feet. I've got a photo of Zach. I think I've got a couple, which is weird, but we move. Yeah, we move. Fine, we slay. In case Zach. you don't know who Zach is, Zach is. Zach is. is sensational, Spidey. He is a shell maker, a suit maker. He he does a lot of great work. You should follow him. You should check him out. And in fact, I'm going to put his information and his feet on screen for you. I'm, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Like, I, I hope not. I hope not, because they're on screen right now. 
He's gonna if I ever get him on the podcast, he's gonna be like, "You put my feet on the screen." I personally think you should put him on the podcast. I, I will. I I think it'd be fucking entertaining as shit. I'll put his feet in the thumbnail. Oh, we love to see that. No, do it like do it so it's like it's like a um like a shoulder up of his body, yeah. but it's just like photoshopped his feet. His yeah. foot is his face. Do that. Um, I. He lives. He lives in the U.S., right? He does live in the U.S. I. He's got the most. He's got the most American name as well. Yeah, because I want to say because the he ships out to you so often. Yeah. Um, is yeah. that like painfully expensive? It's decently expensive. It comes to usually around sixty dollars for me, or sixty pounds for me, which is like seventy dollars. And depending on how expensive the goods are, I usually get taxed as well. Damn. So tax is not... usually around fifty pounds as well. That's actually not bad though for a shell. Actually, that's a, that's a pretty good price because I see well, a lot of shells going for like a hundred. Well, no, Zach's shells are around two hundred. Oh. So yeah, yeah but you so get the two, discount because you're the homie. I do, I do, but two hundred plus shipping plus tax. So oh, I see. is it is a clo- it's like three hundred dollars for a shell sometimes, but or um, I've also got a daredevil shell coming from him. Ooh. This like recently, I also sent you a couple of photos of the emblems for the Exordium suit as well. Oh yeah yeah yeah! I saw these the other day. I don't remember where though. You probably on my story. Oh, I also sent them in your Discord as well. Oh. Follow fucking. Get into Kai's Discord if you guys aren't there. It's a good old time. Good old Damn, time. Curse. Doing the ad for me for real. Link in the description. Yeah, for real. One hundred percent. Always. Um, do you want the knee gritty of how I made it, or do you want to know like? like uh, I want to kind of... just give me a give me a summary of like what like what your thoughts were, some original ideas, and then you can tell me how you made it. Mm. So it's for an upcoming project I'm working on. So I'm working on a a seven piece Ditko. Just because I'm, I'm kind of on a bit of a Ditko binge at the moment. Like, I, the best thing about that him as an artist is that he just never draws Spider-Man consistently. So there is always kind of avenues that you can take his artwork, which I absolutely love, because it just makes for suits that you can make because they all look so different. Mm-hmm. So at the moment, I'm making like my interpretation of a Ditko suit. It's going to have like web wings. It's it's all seven piece. It's got like um, for the first time I think ever I'm using paint markers for the webs. I don't know. Like mm. it's just it's just a whole new process because I know you use them a lot, and it's just a whole new process of kind of exploring ways that I can like work on a suit. Like I've got everything that I need to do on it. It's just as I was about to do it, just absolute heavy procrastination hit, and I gave up. <laughs> See. But but recently I've been um, I've been a bit more productive. I worked on it today. Um, I think the gloves are nearly done. Mask is completely done. Um, but in terms of that zipper hood, I was inspired by Raven Clash. I don't know if you've heard of the guy. I he fucking that new... love yeah. Raven Clash. I Dude need to have him on too. Insane. Dude is absolutely insane. Like I love his stuff. I need like, to have Raven Clash on because Raven Clash is one of those motherfuckers. His Ditko suit that he came out with was phenomenal. It's it's gorgeous man like i don't know how to just like recently we've just had an absolute influx of incredible cosplays at the moment like small small cosplayers as well that are just producing so much heat and no one record like no one gives them like any attention sadly like it just makes me so sad you know yeah i get that that's why i wish the podcast was bigger so that i could like i I wish more people cared about the podcast more so that i could show off these smaller podcasts like these smaller guys that are doing like good work. Mm, I got. I can get you a list of like names of people that I personally really, really enjoy their work, and that might help you. I'd be down. You should send that through. You should send it through after the podcast, and I'll, I'll have a look through it. I definitely want the podcast to get bigger because I think uh, I interview a lot of people that deserve a lot of recognition. I think. I think a lot of the time people watch my content for me, so when there's another person occupying that space it's kind of weird like, i understand what you mean yeah like if you're watching a mark <laughs> like if you wanted to watch a markiplier video and then his friend was there with him you'd be like oh mm. mm-hmm. you know what i mean so i kind of get why people don't watch it but at the same time i wish people did i i maybe i'll experiment with making like a shorter 
interview podcast series where maybe I cut it up into some of the best parts and then, you know, all these podcasts or all these uh, cosplayers that come on get more yeah. exposure because they deserve it. They really do deserve it. They really do, man. What I really think would be cool is if you got like three or four cosplayers all at once and then like all of them would be talking. I think that'd be really fucking interesting. Yeah. There's like all people with different styles. So it could be like me with like someone who just does predominantly very clean looking suits or like kind of very bright and happy looking suits, you know what I mean? And yeah, I, I think I was... it would be really cool to just like shoot the shit with a load of people and like kind of critique looking like suits and stuff and kind of talk about their favorite like things of Spider-Man. Like I think that would be so incredible. Yeah, I'd love, I dude, I'd love to like introduce the, the wider audience to that because there is such a, there's... There's there's a circle. There really is a circle among us Spider-Man cosplayers. Like a lot of us are friends. We all like a lot of us hang out. Like if you could name a Spider-Man cosplayer, I probably know them and have DM them. They're, like there's such a welcoming and just friendly community among all of us and it's great. It's fun to hang out with. Mm, I like how you 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 changed it from among all of us instead of among us. Among us. Yeah. There are among some us. there are some there are some Spider-Man cosplayers among us, and that's true. They're damn straight there are. Damn straight there are. I have one um, more... Oh, no, go on. No, you continue. You continue. Okay. I have one more question, and then we can just shoot the shit for the 27 minutes we have left. Okay, okay. What Spider-Man works inspire you? Like games, like like obscure comic art, artists. I know you're going to say Lee Ber- Bermujo. Yeah, that's really difficult, actually. Um, I've not thought about that for such a long time. Is it no? Because I've you're. I wanted to know because your your content is so like the way you make Spider Man suits is like you employ such a obscure style that it's either original or you're basing it off of something. I don't. I don't. I genuinely don't think I base a lot of my things off a lot of people. Like of anything specifically. I think I just have a really kind of good memory of things that I've seen and things that like, I'll take maybe like aspects of someone's like cosplay that I've seen and kind of implement it into something that I'm working on. Or it'll be like something that my friend kind of meant like mentioned just as like a throwaway thing. I think, you know, that has potential. Maybe I'll keep that a bit. I might not use Mm. it for a couple of months, but when they, when the time comes, that is something that could be crucial to making like, a suit that I want or something like I think the best thing with Spider-Man designs is to keep an open mind with all of them because if you kind of close yourself off and kind of only think like in a straight line with designs and making stuff you're not really going to go anywhere and they're all going to be very they're going to be really boring looking suits and stuff whereas if you have like go on no, because I was going to say I think the one thing I admire about you as like a suit maker is that you always take Spider-Man in the area that I don't think a lot of people would be able to do competently. Like, I feel like not everyone could do what you do with the Spider-Man design and make it work. And and that's not to say that your work isn't controversial. I think your work is one, your work is one of those things that people either love it or hate it. And I'm not going to lie. I fucking love it every time. Like every time I see Kean come out with something, it's it's something it's definitely something and i love seeing it i love looking at it i think you do you do a great job taking the the spider-man design into places that people would have to be dragged kicking and screaming to go yeah you just you can't afford to be you can't afford to have a comfort zone with cosplay if i'm being honest like there are always things that you can kind of change or adapt especially with suits such as spider-man's and like well any kind of superhero there are things that have, there there are things that haven't been done. That's why there's so many versions of his suit, and there are suits that I really want to do, but I just don't know how to yet. Like, um, oh, I don't know the name. You know, like in the comics where he fights Electro and he uses like that insulated suit. Oof! I want to make that. But the insulated suit, kid. I want I want to make the insulated suit, boy. Oh, I know you'll probably do it good, but you might lose me on that one. I don't like the <laughs> insulated suit. I don't know. I like it. I like the puffy puffiness of it a little bit. I just I never liked it. Mm. I I just thought the Couchman or whatever. I didn't like the logos. I'll probably change the logos. Like 
I don't like the logos either. I just like the overall silhouette of it. Like, that's my main thing, is I love, like, I love being able to tell what someone's, like, suit is by the, by the silhouettes of it and, like, by the shapes and the colours. Like, you need that uniqueness to stand out because there's nothing worse, like you said earlier, about kind of going to a convention and walking down and seeing someone in the same suit as you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like... I feel like a lot of Spider-Man cosplayers just need to start... They need to start making. You know what I mean? You guys need yeah. to break out of your comfort zone and start making. It's not easy. Like, I feel like... Like, it's it's really normal to be shy about it. Yeah. Believe me, I was. Like, my first suit was going to be a... Just a really simple looking, like, PS4 classic suit. I had... I had, like, the, um... Matthew Della Cruz kind of, like, uh, face shell for it and stuff. It was going to be... It was going to be done time and then you go back and develop a style do you know what I mean? yeah and I, it's okay to start out with like zentai suits i just think oh, at yeah. some point you gotta you gotta break out of your shell and start making i recently posted the first ever spider-man suit that i ever had that was like handmade yeah and it, it's quite a doozy but i think it's a very approachable it's a very approachable thing i think you can do it I think I think anybody can do it at any age, and it's possible. It's definitely a possible thing to do. I do want to ask, hmm? since you are you are the dark area of Spider-Man design. You are sort of the. I feel like whenever I'm not gonna lie, Ken. Sometimes I can't get down with your opinions on Spider-Man suits. <laughs> I can't get down on it. Because there are several times where we've been in the VC with the homies like like Spider Brian or Nero or, or just Justice Sketches, aka Juicy, big juicy, big juicy, big juicy, juicy. That's right. And we'll just be like, I don't like this suit, and then Kian will be like, Well, yeah, I want to know if you I, guys don't. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Go on. Now, if, yeah, if you guys don't know, I don't really voice my opinions on certain suits, mainly because I am, in fact, I'm, I'm aware that my suit's opinions on certain suits, just it's just not good. Like, it's just not good at all. But there's not really much say, I can do about that. I wouldn't say that you're, I wouldn't say that they're not good. I would just say that, like, you, you like to play devil's advocate, but you're not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I am, I am fully, fully serious. With mm, what are... What are some suits that you th- that are that are in the mainstream that you just cannot get down with? Um, ooh, any of Tom Holland's. Wow, pretty much any of them. And my favorite version of his suit is the integrated suit. Oh, fuck me, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> I I really hate his No Way Home, like the last, like the final shot one. I really hate it. You don't like the integrated suit. Or no, you no, like the integrated suit. I like the integrated suit, but I don't like the red and blue one at the very end. There's nothing about it that screams, oh yeah, that's good. Like it's it's not even it's not even like a Tasm 2 classic situation where you have to look at it and go, Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's that's incredible. It's just yeah. bland to me, it's nothing. Then why do you like the integrated suit? It sounds like you just described the integrated suit to me. No, but the integrated suit's nice. It's got like it. It's got for, like for for stars. I'm a real sucker for red and black. Like I just love that, and I really like. But the, you don't like uh, the you don't like the the far from home suit. I'm not the biggest fan because of the belt. Oh lord. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the emblem. Like if the emblem was maybe instead of gold, if it was white, that'd be really nice. I feel like that'd make it more more tolerable, but at the same time, key in. Mm, I know. Like, I don't get me wrong. I am fully aware that my opinions are absolute dog shit. Like, don't don't get it twisted. I, I know. That's um, true. He's like, hey, don't blame me. I think they're as shitty as you do. Oh, here's another one. I read. I don't like any of the spectacular Spider-Man suits. Wow. I don't like. I don't like him one bit. Not a single bit. The show's good. Like, don't get me wrong. The show's really, really good. But I'm not a big fan. Something that might surprise you that I really like the um, the new animated series suit with the big old like lenses. Wait, the one with the segmented belt and Robbie Damon? No, um, 
Um, oh my god, I forgot. Neil Patrick Harris. Him. Oh, that, okay. Uh, I love, I love that suit. I get that, because even that suit has a bit of an edge to it. It's, you, you've stated before that you like the suit in Spider-Man 1, right? Yes, I love that suit. I get that, okay, because the, the 2001, the 2001 suit, okay, so in the Tenas, in the Tenas. In that tenacity. suit is sort of like a more of a streamlined classic suit. So I I get that. I get why you would like that one. Mm, and I I usually I would like only for like the recently in the past couple of months I've started to lean towards liking bigger lenses. I don't think I like medium sized lenses. It's either got to be really small or really big for me. Like yeah. he made a Marvel vs. Capcom mask a while ago, and I fucking love that. Like I love the look of those lenses. It's just yeah. something about them. It's just like think that's that's like what i like about them the most yeah i remember you we had a conversation at vc once about like how much you had a like you just could not get behind the bigger eyes i think it was because we were looking at the uh the fortnite suit yeah i don't i still don't like that suit i still don't like it one bit what is like give me give me some more examples like what are some really popular classic suits you just can't get down with um Ooh, ah, oh, fuck! I can't think of any of like on the spot. That's really you annoying. mentioned. Um, you mentioned the you mentioned the the PS4 classic suit earlier. Yeah, that's out of all of like the original suits from that that like um, from that game. The classic is like the one that I can be with the like the most. The advanced suit I hate. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like the anti ox suit one bit. Wait, I, I thought the... you wait, I thought you said you didn't like the the classic suit in the PS4 game. I don't like it, but it's the one that I can withstand the most, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. Either way, I really I don't know how you feel about it, but I don't like the velocity suit at all. The velo okay, yeah, I can understand. The velocity suit, I I just don't why? You know what I mean? For me personally, yeah. it's like why? I feel like you could make a you can make a speedster Spider-Man suit, I think, without making it super techy. I like the the oh fuck, my YouTube paycheck just came in. Nice. Ooh. Uh, I like the I like the um. I like the idea. I I like the I don't like the powers behind it or anything, but I like what the suit was going for. I just don't think they needed to make him look like a robot. I think the problem is that he looks too much like a robot. Yeah, I have to. Really funny in that game. Like the the only like the only power up I used in the game was Web Blossom, just because it's the most OP. It 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 is. It's really busted. Like it like, takes all challenge out of the game, or at least yeah. from doing the the crimes. Nero, I'm looking at the junk art official media Discord, and Nero is literally making cursed images of himself stacked on top of each other. No, please no. I, I'm oh. getting the little the preview thing. I don't want to look. What's he doing? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I like the Spider Clan suit. The Spider Clan suit. Okay, I kind of like that one too. Only because yeah. the lenses. I like. I'm, I didn't. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I might have plans to make it one day. <laughs> that is that is a really key in suit to make, in my opinion. Yeah, I might need your like help with like maybe some designing some lenses for it. Just because I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to use the lenses that yet they use because I'm not the biggest fan. But I want to make a suit that's kind of akin to that suit. I'd be down. I, I, we have like 15 minutes left, and we literally were talking about earlier how we can design we, it. Yeah, <laughs> we can also design it after as well. Like we can like chill out for some more and still yeah. design that suit as well. I do have to. I, I do have to go to class in like an hour. Oh, oh, you bitch, you bitch. I know. No. <laughs> I, cause me and Kian want to work together to design a classic suit, and so I want to sort of, I want to sort of get together with you and figure out. You said you want to design like a Ditko S classic suit with me. Yeah, I'm thinking like a very, a very grubby looking like Ditko suit with patchwork and stuff. Like mm. that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, with I like, like that suit. idea. There's, with there's like, with like tatted web wings and stuff like. Mm. There's this okay, uh, one. There's this one concept art I grabbed onto a while ago, that I think does something similar. I'm gonna. 
I don't want to put it on screen because I don't want to show it to like a massive amount of people without being able to credit the artist. Or not even massive amount of people. I don't want to. Hu- I'm just gonna humble myself real quick. <laughs> humble it is. Yes, yes, yeah. So I think we should do like, um, like get that same kind of feeling from the left side of it. But with like I like the one. left side how the webs originate from the center. I like that. Yeah, me too. I think that's really nice. Like, you already see that a lot. I think we can like fuck around with maybe like an aggressive looking like emblem and stuff. Can I just say? Um, I think it's the new suit that you made recently. It's your, it's your new, probably Spider-Man suit with like the wet, with like the fingerless gloves and shit. Um, yeah. What's that new mask you made recently? Is the that is the that was the the um it's the one you made for the lenses. Yes, I, you need to keep those. Like you, that 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 needs to just be like you know, fit so well. I, well yeah. That needs to be like my regular lenses. I think so for that suit. It just fits them so well. Yeah, I I made it the I maybe made it like a few nights before because I made that mask for the DIY video, which I'm sure all of you watching this video have probably watched to death. But I made that that suit, and I didn't want to wear I didn't want to wear the mask I already had because I was going to a con that day and I didn't want to wear the mask I was already I like that went with that suit because it it gets foggy. Sometimes they're like my my fog will leave marks on the inside of the lens that are visible from the outside, and mm-hmm. I was just like, well, people already know what this suit looks like with those lenses, so why don't I just give it a break and you know wear wear some new ones? And I did, and they actually ended up going together quite well. I remember walking to the mirror and actually being like, wow, these work really well. Yeah, I, it just blends effortlessly. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the look of, like, you, you, the eyes that you use. Like, I don't, I wouldn't wear them. Just, I just don't like the, the I don't, I don't think it would work for me. Yeah, that's but fair. the vibe that they give off, it's very, it's very you. Like, it's just that wideness. They can't, they look surprised all the time. It's great. Yeah, I get that comment a lot. I get people, like, who are always like, what is he gawking at? <laughs> I... Like I know it's a it's that this new version of it's a V two, right, isn't it? Yeah, it's the V two. It's supposed to be like the updated version of the of the, the of the V one, which is the one with the fingerless gloves. Yeah, yeah. I I personally think I prefer V two. Like just form wise. Like it, it's got that it's got that professionality to it. That is a very key in thing to say because the V two is the V2 is very, I like, some people don't like the V2. Some people prefer the V1. I made a video actually recently reacting to one of my fans critiquing my suits and he trashed the shit out of the V, uh, the V2. Well, some, the people, V1. some people are just stupid. I, I <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I, I'm not a big fan of the in certain lighting, it does look very pink. But like, no, I like that's, that. that. That's fine. Like, I like, like the I, pink. I, yeah, I've got friends that are like working with suits, like like Justice, for example. He's working on this Spider Pan suit, and shit slaps. Like, it is absolutely gorgeous. I do wish I gave Spider Pan a more default design instead of just giving him like something very bland. Because I, I remember oh. when I was designing the suit. And I, I was just like, oh, I'm going to make him like sort of like a classic-esque design. And I remember like looking at Madison Wallcrawler's suit maybe like a few days later. And I was like, fuck, this looks just like the spider pan design I made. <laughs> Not that he copied me, but that like it was such a like a common design philosophy that it could end up being recreated by two people. Yeah, you just look at it and you're like, shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the thing. Like, I don't really have that with my suits, luckily. But this new suit does look. It looks. It's going to be really bad because it looks really similar to um, to Superior because it's going to have nails and it's like there's no black like, um, or, like on the gloves or the like or the hands or the boots. Um, it's yeah. It's it's going to be a bit awkward because people are going to be like, oh my god, it's just uh, it's just the Japanese Spider-Man with um like Superior body, and I'd be like. No. <laughs> yeah, I, those people are so annoying. Like, I hate people who try to assign 
labels to your costume. Like, there's there's some people who will go back and look at my, again, my symbiote suit. They will see the messy web pattern, and they will think, hmm, Edge of Time had a messy web pattern. Yeah, this dude, is the I Edge of Time black suit. And I'm like, fuck off. Yeah, I get compared to Edge of Time so fucking badly. I just don't get it. Like, I, I've never, I've never understood that parallel. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Just like, just I'm like pretty sure. I enjoy. I think. I'm pretty sure it just starts and ends at messy webs. Yeah, it's like and, they see a map that's not exactly it. clean. I'm like, that's it. That's it. I've, I've, I've solved it. I've solved the fucking mystery. <laughs> you have. That, that's like it's, it's cringe. Frankly, it is cringe. I love how we're just pretty much calling a lot of our. Uh, Fucking followers cringe. Always good. Always yeah. good. I think Always sometimes good sometimes they need a good thrashing. You know what I mean? They get yeah. off scot free sometimes. Can't Gotta have do it. it. Got to do it to him. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta give them an old trouncing sometimes. Yeah, I agree. I, I completely agree. Got to kill a couple of them. Just be like that. Yeah. Got I know. Recently, recently, just like the Spider Man community, like not not the immediate people in it. But, like, people around the Spider-Man community have been just absolutely horrible, do you know what I mean? Yeah, there Like, there was, been... that, there was that dude that was, like, reselling patterns, and then he was yeah, just Yeah, that was literally guy. this weekend. That was a one-day sort of small war that everybody yeah. in the community banded together, and they were like, hey, uh, this guy's being, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna list all the things this guy was, it was by it the was way. It was everything! Like, it was he, he not only... Did he steal patterns from other people and try to resell them as his own to make money? He also was a racist, a pedophile. Homophobic. Homophobic. <laughs> he was everything under the sun. And he sent he sent wiener pictures to Jussie. Jussie didn't want that. I, I didn't want that either. It was nasty. It was a nasty little wiener. I'm sure I, I didn't see it personally, and I'm kind of happy I didn't. Yeah, he's still got the he he hasn't updated his penis yet. It's still on the the 1.0 update, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> uh, 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 like patchings for it. Like DLC yeah, or two. The, he needs to. If anything, I think he needs to to remove the patch. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, I'm saying I feel you. I feel you. Just get rid of his dick entirely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's dickless. No, but there's oh, there's so many shitty things coming out of the Spider-Man community. Did did you hear that I'm gonna get my hands on the Lotus suit for a video? No, I'm getting my hands on one of the sold Spider-Man Lotus suits. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's insane. I'm not keeping it. Such a long time. I'm I'm gonna advertise them here because they said they wanted the clout for it, and mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna give them a little bit of the the booster clout. Big, yeah, big it was it was big bang boomerang they yeah, are they, no go on they want some of that fucking probably spider-man clout they want as, some as of that it, clout you probably don't is. actually my fans are insane but they are sending me their lotus suit and it's gonna arrive on wednesday oh my god can you imagine if you got fucking lost in the mail that'd be the worst it would be the worst i had to sign a contract to get it that's fucked man I you know, but really... if it gets lost in the mail, that's not my fault. We, that's I think we fault. went over that in the contract. It, that is not my fault. But oh. of course, I'm not going to intentionally make it lost in the mail. You know what I mean? That They, yeah. they were charging $2,000 like a piece for that thing. And that's for insane. all of you watching right now, there is going to be an ad on that video. A sponsorship. <laughs> so just prepare well. yourself. Do you know, do you know, um, speaking of, like, prices of, like, um, professional suit companies, do you know how much El Fett charges for a suit? Oh, Lord. Guess. Go on, I want, I want you to guess. If, um, Spider Labs charges 2000 how much do you think El Fett charges? I like El Fett, but I'm scared. I want to say 1000 5000 5000 <laughs> I, I asked, I was like, oh, I really want one of your Raimi suits. Um, how much would you charge it, like me for it? It was like, oh, for the muscle suit, for the face show, and for the whole suit entirely to be assembled, you're looking around five point, like 5.5 thousand. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? No, I can't do that. I mean, he does 
great work, though. It is incredible work. Like, it is, it is an insane work. But 5,000. That's like a car. <laughs> you could drive or you could be Spider-Man. He, no, but he does some, like, I'm looking at his work right now. He's got a nice ass Cyclops suit right now. I'm going to. Oh, I you just said he had a nice ass for a second. I was like, huh? I mean, probably. I'm sure he does, man. I'm I sure follow he does. his TikTok. He, he does some weird posting. Like he does he, some art posting. Yeah, he posts like this weird, like Tobey Maguire like face mold that's on an animatronic face. And he does weird deep fakes sometimes as well. And it he, just it's kind of like if I wake up in the morning and I see that, it kind of scares me a little bit. He's a troubled soul, but he does great work. I I remember I even put his uh I put his uh I put his black suit in my his like Raimi classic black suit in my video about the rainy black suit saying that like this suit is way better than the one we uh, got in the movie in terms of actually making the the black classic suit i was like i i would have preferred this and people 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 were genuinely like oh this suit is not as good as the one in the movie and i'm like it is you're right it's better yeah, and they're wrong yeah like <laughs> like yeah i really like it. like well the one where it's just like um there's no webs on it. It's just pure black. Key in? Okay. Oh, you cut uh, out a little bit. Go on. Oh no! Is it just the one where um? It's the one it where called? it's it's the one where it's pure black. It has the black suit logo, but the top legs go over the shoulder. Yeah, I love that. I also really like his venom as well. Like, I just think it's creepy as shit. Wait, I haven't seen his venom. You haven't seen his venom. Dude, I I think I think I saw like the helmet for it, but I haven't seen the rest of it. The whole bodysuit. I'm not. I'm not. Ultimately, I'm not too hot on the logo, or like just the way it looks in general, like body wise. But as a whole, it's just it's just great. Oh wait, I think I'm looking at it. I think I'm looking at it. Mm -hmm. I think his carnage is pretty good as well. If I'm oh not too yeah, mistaken. for the little bit I've seen, it's creepy, but I don't like it as venom. No big fan. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. He still does great work, though. Yeah. Yeah, you can't fool him too much. No. I just can't. Uh, it's just when he, when he told me about his prices, I was like, why? But I kind of get it because all of the scans that he gets are original like movie scans. So pretty much you are getting the closest you can get to a movie suit. Yeah. So I understand that. Yeah. Yeah, even if the price is a little discouraging, you're, that's probably one of the best deals you could get. Yeah, that's like all of my savings. <laughs> yeah. How how are we looking for time? We're we've got about. We're, we actually have to wrap it up now. Actually. Now, man, I wish we had more time. It's I really been, do. It's been really fun, actually. Yeah, it is a lot of fun to do the podcast, and I don't, I don't know how to get to a point where people will watch because at the end of the day i think what i want the podcast to be is me showing off cool people i've met in the community and not a lot yeah. of people watch these so i think i might have to maybe have some more people on for some videos actually yeah. i think i'll i'll ask zach if he wants to come on because i'm sure he'll say yeah yeah uh, i think if we make a if we ever we we ever get around to designing that dicko suit we should definitely make a video about it um, I th I think yeah, as like a whole group group like um group can collab like collaboration. I'd love to do that because I do I I am adamant of make with making a suit with you. Like I am absolutely adamant about it. I would we be will down. Be yeah, be we're so, so doing it. All right. So mm -hmm. anyway, I want to say thank you so much for coming on, Kian. Of course, you can follow Kian on Instagram at spydarboy. That is S P I D. A R underscore boy. Uh, is there anything you want to advertise before you? Um, not really. I'm just I'm cool as shit. Um, follow me. Truth. Obviously, obviously. Truth. We heard about it. That is about it. All right. I want to say thank you to the two of you. The, and I literally do mean the two people still watching two, the video. The two, two people. Well, that's better than one, and that's better than none, if you know what I mean. Yeah, unless they click off, because they're wrapping it up. But anyway, I want to say thank you all so much for watching. 
I really appreciate all of you. Again, thank you so much, Kian, for coming on. And of course, suggest in the comments who you think I should have on. And I think any if any of you comment who I should have on, I'll know that you are commenting it because you because I fucking told you to do it. <laughs> and I also know that you're you're a real one because you watched long enough to get to that portion of the video. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one of these. You want to say goodbye, Kian? Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye.